right, okay, Coach Haverdell. So OAC here, junior high district. How many years for you guys now? Oh God, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna guess 15. I don't know. Is it that many? 12, 15, somewhere in there. So it's over a decade. Yeah. All right. What's it like working with OAC, Jared Opper, Jude Roth? What are these guys like working? With? They're they're awesome. I mean, you think about except when we were in high school, we didn't have this, right? We didn't get the opportunity to. Um, do a middle school state term and see what you stack up and you know the, I think what's cool about middle school state is it's one division you know uh, high school we got three you, you you win a middle school state title you're you're the best right so pretty cool opportunity that they're giving these kids and then you know as far as you guys getting a gym set up and with your holiday tournament you normally do two gyms yeah. this one you just you move it down to one yeah. two weights two sessions yeah. what's it like you know you know if you had kids that were wrestled this would be something you bring them to right yeah it's awesome and I, I think the two waves of weight classes is awesome because um, they don't have to sit around all day you know sometimes wrestling tournaments are long you know, long affairs so I think the two waves helps a, a ton um, the pros and the cons are we, we had a conference tournament here yesterday so uh, we, we were gonna set up anyways we were gonna clean up anyway so being able to do it on, on back to back is um, not as difficult in terms of setup and clean up but they're long days we're tired <laughs> So I look at your high school team, it's a top, depends which rankings you're looking at. You know, it's a top 50 to top 25 team in the United States of America. I don't know if it's your boy Willie Saylor or whoever you're talking to. And you lost two defending state champs, which is kind of amazing how you've been able to still be a threat to win and be, a, you know, a title contender in Division One. but. How are you able to sustain that? And you know, what's it been like losing those two guys, the two brothers, the, the tag brothers? I mean, you know, I think it's just um, uh, you build a you build a program. It's culture. It's um, the kids that come in. I, I think I hope our program's at a point now when kids come in and they get in our lineup, they expect to win. Um, and we got a great feeder program. Our youth coach is awesome. Our middle school club's doing great. So um, they're feeding us kids that are ready to go and they're ready to compete on the next level. And um, you know, this this group of kids we have this year has been amazing. It's it's honestly been been one of my favorite years of coaching just awesome kids they all get along no drama just generally excited for each other it's, it's been the best year your schedule is really amazing right beast of the east iron man yeah. iron man's like 20 minutes away yeah. but beast of the east you know you got to travel six eight hours for that um where else do you think you guys go that sets your schedule apart you know you got st Edmunds in your district Perry, you got Perry, St. Ed's, Wadsworth's in your league, yeah. but you lost to by a point last night in your own gym. Yeah. But you got all these teams around. What's the competition like, level like, and how do you make such a great schedule? Well, I, you know, I think you kind of mirror almost like uh, like Big Ten wrestling, right? So in December, we have Ironman and Beast and Brexel, and um, I think by the end of December, we have a really good idea where we stand, what we're good at and what we're not so good at, what areas that we need to focus on and create areas of concentration for each kid. Um, after that, you know, um, being able to, we competed against Ed's in the state duels, they put it on us pretty good, but to be able to compete against them, I think helps us a ton. Uh, having Wads within our conference, we had a big duel with Wads, we went out to Mass and Perry, uh, they have an awesome tradition out there. Uh, so, you know, being able to, add, to have Ironman beast Brexel and then wrestle teams like Eds and Wadsworth and Perry in a duel as, as uh, we get into January and February, um, hopefully our kids are ready to roll now. Best finish in school history last year, right? Yeah, so we won the team title in 2015, but that was the duels. Duel, you won the duels, but I'm saying tournament. I'm yeah. state tournament. Yeah, so, yeah, runner-up last year in 2018. Yeah. How do you guys, you know, how do you, obviously winning is what you want to do, but the sale and ads are pretty tough. Yeah. Right? And then, like I said, you lost two state champs, which is tough, but how do you guys get the challenge for our gold or silver trophy this year in March? I, you know, again, you said it. Ed's and LaSalle are really good, and um, I don't know that we ever sit around and talk about we need to win this, we need to win that. It's um, what we want is for our kids to put their best performance out there at the end of the year. If each kid takes care of themselves and they do their job, wherever we fall, we fall. All right, Scott Detroit runs this event. How much of a computer for a brain does that guy have? He's he's awesome. He's so smart and knows wrestling, and he's a troubleshooter. Uh, you know, he, he just he figures things out on the fly. We're we're so fortunate to have him, and you know, being an administrator, he works some pretty crazy hours, and he's still. Um, Puts a lot of hours into helping the wrestling tournament, whether it's the Brexel tournament or, or the Smith School District. Can you believe that that sophisticated, brilliant guy grew up beating the Miller boys up? Us knuckle dragging mouth breathers were beat up with a smart guy. Yeah, kind of yeah, crazy to think about it. He's it? tough. Yeah, I don't Real think the kids tough. here uh, understand. How, uh, how tough he was back in the day. Real tough. All right, hey, thanks for the time. Get back in the gym. Go throw Detroit under the bus in there with some angry parents or something. Yeah, all right. And, and uh, good luck to you guys moving forward. All right, thanks, Ed.